you know, Max, it's been a remarkable year and a remarkable playoff run for Denton County. We should talk to someone about that. That seems dumb, but we're going to do it anyway. <laughs> and here to join us to talk about Denton County is the esteemed sports writer for the Denton Record Chronicle. He is Adam Bodecker, who is fighting off death. Joining us from the disabled list. Joining us from the from injured reserve. The it is Adam. Way. Adam, are you okay? I'm, I'm doing a little bit better now. Thanks for asking. Okay. Yeah, I, I just got to get better before tomorrow, so I can uh, oh, go cover what I think is going to be one of the best matchups in all the areas this weekend. And what that segue? And what matchup is that, Adam? <laughs> I am going to say Geyer versus Mansfield. So when you look, first of all, I want, I want to talk about it as, as a whole. This Geyer team came in with great expectations. And I know that you and I have talked offline about how this team has been, uh, the, the variance on this team has been very high. At times they've looked like the best team in the state. And at times they you wonder how they ever win a game, but they've been able to put it together. <laughs> Uh, what has happened in the past few weeks that has got Geyer rolling? Well, it started in the second half of that first round game against Hebron. They were getting beat in the third. I think it was six minutes in the third quarter, and they were down th- uh, twenty-four to thirteen or something. It looked like their season was done. And then they just they flipped the switch and just started playing what they do best, and that's just running the football and, and beating me physically. And they ran away with that game. And then that Carroll game, I think, was the big jumping-off point. You know, that really they kind of they kind of shifted their offensive identity away from what John Walsh is comfortable with, which is just trying to score as many points as fast as he can, and totally flipped the script. And it's working pretty well for him. We're talking with Adam Bodecker of the Denton Record Chronicle here on DCTF Live. Get involved with the conversation at hashtag DCTF Live. Uh, so when you look at this uh, Geyer's opponent this week taking on a Mansfield team that uh, has looked excellent all year long and continues to run the ball very well, what do you see as being the keys in this game? Well, I, I think it, I just think it's a great matchup. I think it's strength on strength. You know, both teams like to run the ball. Both teams preach stopping the run on defense. Um, you know, I, I think the key really is just to – you know, you're not going to shut Kennedy Brooks down, but you you can try to contain him. And the same really goes for Mansfield. I mean, no one's shutting down Geyer's rushing attack, but if they can if they can contain it and make them do things they aren't real comfortable with this year, then you know that'll take Geyer out of their game. That's that's certainly true. And and of course, all eyes are going to be on Sean Robinson, uh, such a superstar as a sophomore. He's kind of come back to earth. Uh, as a junior, uh, when you're watching Sean Robinson this year, maybe versus next year, uh, what are you seeing? Versus last year, you mean? Yeah, versus last year. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, you know, uh, I think we've talked about this before. A lot of it, a lot of it is his receiving core. You know, last year he had uh, three senior receivers, two of which went on to play Division One football. He had a Division One running back. And those guys were all gone, and you know he was just kind of along for the ride last year and doing a very good. I mean, that, that that's not a good way, but he he was awesome last year. But he wasn't like he didn't have to take the team by the reins and lead them. And I think that was kind of an issue for him throughout the regular season. Is it was kind of new territory and something he wasn't really used to or ready for. But uh, you know, I. I think he's trying to figure it out now. And Coach Walsh told me yesterday that he had uh, maybe his best week of practice he's had this year and this week. So I think he's he's starting to figure it out. The other Denton ISD team that is still rolling is Denton Ryan. And still unbeaten, they've looked really good this year. Uh, I mentioned this yesterday uh, in an interview that I did, but I feel like this Denton Ryan team is maybe arriving a year earlier than we thought they would. Uh, curious to see if if that's how you view it as well. Oh, definitely. I mean, they've got a sophomore quarterback, two stud sophomore wide receivers, uh, a junior who was a starter last year, both ways at linebacker and running back. You know. I, I think everyone everyone expected them to make the playoffs again this year after missing out last year for the first time in like 14 years. But I don't think anyone saw this coming. And I 
I said after the, the Ryan Geyer game that, you know, I picked Geyer in that game, as did a lot of people. And, you know, after that game, I said, I, I'm done picking against this team. Now that <laughs> might change a little bit. But, you know, it's, it's, it's the fourth round of the playoffs and they're playing another undefeated team. I mean, they, you know, like you said, Arriving a year early and making it this far with an undefeated record, that's pretty impressive. And Coach Hennigan's done a great job. So this – now can we, can we start calling them the 2016 5A state champions? I mean, Is that, yeah. I, yes, yes, I think so. I, <laughs> I was actually talking to uh, Ben Baby, who used to work with me, and now is in San Antonio. But you know, Was it the real Ben Ryan. Baby or the fake Ben Baby? It, it was – it was it was one of the fake things. I'm not okay, sure which yeah. one. But, okay, okay. Um, yeah, but he said, you know, we were talking, and I told him, hey, it's just like when Geyer moved down a couple of years ago, went down to four A. Like it was going to be a disappointment if they didn't win at least one state title, and that's a lot of pressure. But it's the truth. I mean, that team is going to be absolutely loaded next year, and they should. I mean, if, like I said, if they don't win at least one, then that's a disappointment. We're talking with Adam Bodecker of the Denton Record Chronicle here on DCTF Live. Get involved with the conversation at hashtag DCTF Live. Uh, Adam, Ryan, of course, draws Mighty Allen uh, going on a 50-something game win streak. Uh, they're coming in decided underdogs. I don't think there's. I don't think that's a necessarily a, uh, a controversial opinion. But, right. But for you, play out for us a way that Ryan pulls the stunner. Well, you know, th- their defense is good. They've... They, I think the way they're going to have to do it is with a really quick passing time because I don't think Ryan's offensive line can hold up against Allen's defensive line because I said after Allen played Geyer this year, I think that's the best front seven I've maybe ever seen in high school football, and especially the front four. And Ryan's offensive line has they haven't been bad this year, but I think it's been one of their weaknesses. So they're going to have to really have a good game plan to – to not let those guys get to Spencer Sanders. You know, if they can do that, move the ball and keep keep Allen's offense off the field, that's another important thing. Then, yeah, you know, they've got a chance. I, I think I would be a little more confident that they had a chance if Tyreek Davis was 100%, but he, he's dealing with an injury that he suffered last week, and that guy is really, really special. The uh, It's been a, a banner year for Denton County as well. Uh, Argyle, of course, still rolling. They look they look great and could be considered one of the favorites to win the 4-8 Division I title. Uh, Lake Dallas still in the mix this uh, this year and looking like they have a shot to get into a, a state semifinal if they can take down Everman. Uh, and then there's Crum. And Crum yeah, is the... There's Crum. <laughs> I mean, the, they are kind of the squad that you go, wait, really? They're here? But I, yeah. I I imagine that that you look at what Gary Robinson has done at Crum and you look at it with the same admiration that I do. Yeah, definitely. I mean, that guy. I, I should know this, but I'm pretty sure I'm right that they've never missed the playoffs since they started varsity football. Which you know, that's not the same thing as doing that at the five or six day level, but it's still impressive. And you know, Gary Robinson came from a winning program in Capel. He he knows how to put together a winning program, and you know they. There's no other way of saying it. They struggled this year, but they picked the right time to get hot. And the way they beat Sweetwater last week, I mean, I don't, I don't think anybody saw that coming. And probably not even Gary Robinson, if he's telling me the truth. They, they really did. They dismantled them. Uh, and so it was really impressive to see. We're talking with Adam Bodecker of the Denton Record Chronicle here on DCF Live. Uh, follow him on Twitter at A Bodecker. I don't know. Just kind of sound it out. Um, yeah. <laughs> But one, I need to work on my Twitter handle, don't I? Yeah, you really do. <laughs> Look for the dude in the green Christmas hat. Green Christmas hat. Yeah. One, one last question for you. Uh, you mentioned to me that you are not feeling good. Um, yes, I'm not. So let's say, let's say a stomach bug has has enraged the Bodecker house. Oh my gosh! Oh no! So yeah. let's let's yeah. say tomorrow you wake up and you are as ill as you feel right now. Are you playing hurt? Man, see, that's a tough one. I know, you know, I would do it, but, you know, I know, I think Corbett Smith is going to be there. Rhiannon Brown's going to be there. You know, lots of people are going to be there. Start telegram people. I would, I would not want to go get people sick, but I might just try to disguise it because I really think, I really think that is going to be a tremendous game and just a really good matchup between two teams that pretty much mirror each other. So, yeah, I'll be there. 
He is Adam. Sorry, sorry, sorry Corbett. He is Adam <laughs> Bodecker. He cares so much about you, the reader, that he is willing to risk the lives of his fellow colleagues. <laughs> Follow him on Twitter at a Bodecker. That's a b o e d e k e r, uh, and see his fine work at the Denton Record Chronicle. Thanks for joining us, Adam. Feel better, buddy. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. 